K2SO. I'm a reprogrammed Imperial Troy. All right, you guys. So today we are going to get a look at the K2SO Hot Toys Star Wars 1 6 scale figure. So uh, absolutely cool. Love the box. I love what they're doing with the Rogue One figures and the little banner at the bottom. So very, very cool. So let's get a look at the box. Obviously, we have a uh, very awesome photo of the figure on the front. Uh, so getting a look around the side. Now, um, on the side banner here, we have K2SO. Love the yellow trim. Uh, kind of Steeler colors there. Not a Steeler fan, but uh, there are the Steeler colors there uh, on the banner. And then, of course, on the back of the box, we have all of the readables. If you guys want to pause the video and take a look at that information, uh, you can go ahead and do so. But there it is right there. The, of the, the other side of the box, uh, obviously, again, we have K2SO on the banner uh, at the bottom. And then, of course, again, uh, back around to the front. So very cool looking box guys. We're going to get a look at the figure on the inside of the box. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right guys, and getting a look at the box art on the inside, we have a great picture of the figure uh, of, with the background of Jetta behind K2SO. So very cool, love this always do a very good job with the box art on these figures and this is just another example of that and then getting a look at k2so as he appears in the box so we have his batteries here uh right there we have the uh weapon his gun that he's given uh towards the end of the movie very close to his demise unfortunately spoiler alert uh if you have not seen uh rogue one guys and i apologize for that um and I, I forget exactly what this is. That that may be a um, a bomb of some type. I apologize, guys. I should know exactly what that is, but I haven't looked at the instructions. And then, of course, uh, these are his antennas uh, that are going to be, I believe, on the back side uh, of the uh, droid here. So very, very cool. Uh, that's how he appears in the box. So let's uh, peel him out and rescue him out of the uh, plastic here. All right, you guys, so we got K2SO out of the box looking absolutely awesome. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I do have his eyes lit up. We will get a very good close look at K2SO, so let's get a good close look at him now. So this guy is absolutely awesome, guys, and I'm going to do my best to keep him in the shot. Uh, but I want to get you a close up look at the eyes, uh, how they are lit up very cool uh you insert the batteries on the inside and i will show you the uh instructions that uh demonstrate how to get that done very cool he also comes with this weapon uh as well guys so very very cool just to get you guys a very good look at that as well very awesome very cool so there's a look at the weapon and k2so very 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 tall figure very hard to keep them in the shot guys but we will do our best to get a 360 look at k2so so let's go ahead and get that done so we're gonna get them spun around here guys and again i apologize if i'm not keeping him in the shot now where i uh the antennas that i talked about they were on the box inside the box there they go they insert very easily and again, that is in the instructions as well. Lots of detail uh, here on K2S. So let me pull them a little bit closer uh, so you guys can see. Uh, lots of detail uh, right there, guys. Uh, as you can see, lots of color and uh, detail with this guy. And then, of course, we have some more detail on the back there right here. Very cool. Loving the uh, mechanical mechanisms on the inside of the back there. Uh, you can see inside of the joints, there's all kinds of parts and um, movable 
uh, things there. A uh, good look at his joints, the feet area. He is very fully articulated. Uh, I mean, he is articulated to the T. Um, even the uh, front portion of his foot moves up and down. Uh, we'll get a look at all of his articulation. All right, guys. So I wanted to get you a look at the instructions and how it demonstrates how to put the batteries on the inside. So you simply remove uh, the top portion of K2SO's head um, to expose the battery area. You remove the battery uh, door compartment uh, very easily with a screw. There are three batteries, as you can see there, that are included. Um, but you can uh, adjust the eyes on the inside of K2SO. And then of course, uh, at the end there, uh, they're just showing you that, uh, that those uh, little antennas on the end of K2SO's mouth, I guess you would say, are very sharp. So, so there you go, guys. That is how you would insert the batteries to get. And then also getting a look at some of the other instructions. You, again, there is how you insert the antennas in the back. Uh, gives you detailed instructions on the articulation in regards to the neck area and the um, ab abdomen area with K2SO. Uh, and then you also have uh, the uh, shoulder pads, the shoulder arm uh, guard there. Uh, they are uh, adjustable where you can swing K2SO's uh, arm out to a very cool 90 degrees. So very, very cool. cool. And, then, and then in the uh, arm area, uh, he can do a 360, uh, 90 degree uh, bend with the arm. Uh, so as you can see there, uh, you get 90 degrees in the leg bend and 70 degrees uh, with the leg going out. You can also twist it. Uh, it also has a, 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 a twisting motion as well. Very articulated figure. Uh, 50 uh, degrees in the uh, toe joint there, uh, ankle and toe joints. Uh, very cool, 20 degrees there. So very, very cool articulate. All right, guys, so to get you a look at some of the accessories here, this is uh, a part of the accessories for K2SO. Uh, so very, very cool, awesome. And then of course, we also have K2SO's stand here, uh, as it states there, K2SO, sorry for the glare, guys. Um, and then you have a very cool picture of K2SO there uh, on the stand, very awesome. And then of course you have the uh, holder uh, that would hold K2SO, but you really actually don't even need this stand uh, because K2SO stands very, very well on his own. Uh, he is a awesome, awesome figure, guys, as you can see, uh, very, very well uh, articulated. Guys, as uh, mentioned, uh, you can adjust the shoulder up and out to get K2SO to uh, do certain, so, so if you want to get his, his arm out, and I believe you could probably get it out a little bit better. Give me one moment. So again, uh, as mentioned, as shown in the uh, instructions there, uh, you can adjust the shoulder uh, to get K2SO to get his arm out. So very cool articulation uh, with this guy. And then you can simply put it back uh, as so uh, when you want to get those uh, closed in arm shots. Uh, as you guys can see, the fingers are also articulated uh, as well. And I'm hoping I'm getting that in the shot there, guys. Uh, but the fingers at all the way to the tips are, are articulated. So you can uh, have him grasp things. Uh, he actually uh, holds things uh, much better than your average uh, figure, as you can see, as I have him holding the gun, uh, I I positioned all of his uh, fingers, uh, index fingers and whatnot, uh, so he can hold the gun. So very, very cool, uh, very awesome figure, probably one of the best figures. This probably uh, has jumped to probably top one or two uh, in my uh, Hot Toys uh, favorite list here. Uh, because uh, this guy is absolutely awesome. So in the knee area, you're going to get a bend uh, as so. Uh, that, that's as, as far as you're going to get uh, in the knee bend area. So uh, not too bad, but uh, could be a little bit better. 
and uh, he is absolutely stiff uh, in that knee area. And then, of course, uh, as mentioned, you get that 70 degrees uh, leg kick, leg up, uh, going out. Uh, K2S is not going to go out for you at all. Uh, so you, I wouldn't even suggest trying to get his, his legs to go out uh, at all. Um, but very, very cool. Very awesome figure, guys, as you can see. Love the features on this guy. He will go well with your Jin Urso. Unfortunately, I don't have Jin Urso at the moment. Uh, I actually just pre-ordered her uh, uh, with my $20 off coupon that I got with this guy. So I expect to have her in the next few months. Um, so very, very cool. Very awesome, guys. Loving the detail on this guy. All that lovely, lovely detail on the inside mechanisms and whatnot very very awesome looking figure guys so uh all right you guys and for a size comparison we have our shore trooper here with k2so as you can see k2so towers over the shore trooper so very cool very awesome uh comparison in size here and then, of course, if we add in our Death Trooper, who is also a very tall figure himself, uh, as you can see, uh, K2SO still towers over him as well. So, uh, very cool figure, guys. Again, if you do not have this figure, I greatly uh, suggest that you go out and grab this guy. Awesome figure. I really love him going to make a great addition to my Rogue One collection in my 1-6 scale Hot Toys figure collection. So uh, very excited, excited to have him as a part of the collection. So, so far, uh, I have these three uh, also with Sharit Emwi as well as Rogue One Darth Vader. Uh, and then, of course, as I mentioned, I will have Jen Erso, uh, the deluxe version, uh, at some point in the next couple of months so guys i want to thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and from the father to the son to the ob1 force ghost may the force be with you always